Good morning, Coloritaville, and welcome to Color with Donna and my color and chat for the day. Today, I'm going to be coloring with the Ateo Tree Art Markers 101 Colors, and I'll be coloring in Fairy Magic by Color Questopia. This is a, a color by number. Um, I had a request who someone had asked that I color more uh, CVN images on camera and so I wanted to honor that request. I always try to follow the request of you guys when I get those. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. And if I can't find a color that I want, um, I have my graphic B markers right here on my desk. So I'll just grab one of those. So, all right. So if you love color and chats, be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified of my future uploads. And also please like the video. It helps me so much. And you can hit the share button, share it out to your friends so they can find the channel and that'll help myself and your friend. So, okay. Without further ado, I think I'm going to work on this little uh, fairy today. And I do have the pups here in the room with me. So you may hear a little bit of noise and things like that. And I hope um, you can bear with that. All right. So I'm going to jump right in and start looking for these numbers. I do like to start my color by numbers here and just work my way down the numbers, but I'm a little nervous about that because I heard some of the newer um, color numbers are coming out that has like the entire palette listed, even if it doesn't have a print. So that's going to be um, different because I don't know how I'll tackle the color by numbers um, after that. So I don't know. We'll see. There is a video up on the channel that is a introduction and review of these Teo Tree markers. If you guys are interested in these at all, they're very slim. They're about the length of maybe a Tombow, maybe not quite as long as a Tombow, but longer than our typical um, alcohol marker. And the lids stack on top of each other, which is super nice. So you don't have to keep up with a lid while you're coloring. And they come in 101 different colors. One of those being a color blender, um, a colorless blender. That's the biggest set I found was 101. But I'm super, I really, really like these. Uh, they are, they have been on a sale where they have a coupon for 25% off, which made these, when I bought mine, $21 shipped. So I don't know if that coupon is still there or not, but I got them and I tried them and I did the video review for you guys. And I liked them so much that I bought a couple backup packs because I thought they would come in very handy in these color by number books. Um, the nib is a little finer <clears throat> than it is on most of our budget friendly markers, which helps it kind of get into these little areas. And it's dual ended. It does have the um, chisel on the other end. But um, the chisel is a little smaller too, so that's really nice. It can get into smaller areas also. So I do really like these. And there's a review up on the channel. Yeah. So I've been seeing that some of these books now are coming out with black backgrounds where these lines are actually black, like dark black. And I think I like that maybe better for now. I mean, I, I don't know. Um, what I've been doing on the couple of these that I've done is I'm taking like a glitter or a metallic gel pen and going over all the lines when I'm done, you know, doing the trace, trace the lines. 
which does turn out very nice, especially I did one in my unicorn book that I've got and it turned out really nice like that since it's kind of a fantasy book and it gave it that little extra fantasy pop. But I think as I move along, I'm going to probably start getting the black backgrounds, at least on some of the books. Um, so yeah, we'll see. So yeah, you guys have kind of sold me on this color by number thing. I think I like the more, not crazy super advanced books, but um, the books that are like, you know, this and everything. So I don't know. We'll see. I think I need to get me one of the books that are a little easier to, you know, so I can play with those a little bit. Such and such as I believe has a lot of those. I think that's the name of the books. So we'll see. But I am coloring in the color by numbers. I did get a few of them. So this book actually, I didn't buy it in my first batch. And I only bought like, well, I got two Christmas and I think I only got three books, two Christmas and a unicorn, just so I could kind of test them. Excuse me. And then I went online and this particular book was on sale. Um, I had wish listed this one anyway and put it on my wish list along with some others that I was really interested in. And then when I was going through wish list, I saw the price had dropped in this one um, by about 30%. And so I went ahead and put it in my cart and got it. So and that was a nice little surprise. I always keep an eye on my wish list for any price drops. And it seems like nothing ever drops in price. So I probably spend this time over on my list wishing and thinking everything that I do. Uh, even on Amazon actually shopping because <laughs> it's like I the wish list is starting to get pretty long so I was like maybe I need to stop throwing stuff on that wish list and focus on what I already know I obviously want so I keep a pretty close eye on that wish list for any price drop All right, so I think that's all of her hair. And I think that's going to be all of number ones. But I'm not going to where it kind of bled over these white lines. Because like I said, I'm going to go back over it with a gel pen or something like that. So it'll be okay. Everything will be okay. Now, it wants me to use peach. But I think I'm going to use this one as a peach. I think it's more of a really super light pink, but it's still a skin tone, and that's what I'm going to use. So all of the number twos. So for those of you who do color by number, do you have a special set of markers or pencils or anything like that that you have set aside that you use for your TBN book? Just kind of curious. Because, I mean, I figure I can use just about anything, but kind of like the idea of having a set. So I think at least maybe one set of these Tao trees, I may just um, set them aside for color by number books and use those. I don't know. We'll see. And these tail tree books are my books, pencils, pen, pencils, markers, speak correctly. Um, they are a lot slimmer than regular markers. So I'm not sure yet about how much ink is inside them. However, they're longer than other budget friendly markers. So I'm hoping that means that maybe um, the ink on the inside 
um, the little ink uh, sponge or whatever is maybe longer also and therefore holds more ink. We'll see as time goes on. But I was really shocked because I looked at Amazon and there's a couple reviews up now. There was no reviews when I actually purchased mine. And there's a couple reviews up now and they're not very good reviews. So I need to go in and review these markers over on Amazon and get a written review for these up because I don't feel like they were given a fair shake on the reviews at all. And Lucy's coming up here on the desk to say hello to me. Get down, Lucy. Get down, baby. Baby. Get down. Lucy, down. Thank you. So, I don't know if she got in the camera any at all, but she got her little paws up on the desk and leaned up into my face, giving me little doggy sniffs. sniffs. I used to think she was giving me, like, kisses and affection, and then Gary told me that he doesn't think so. He thinks that, you know, when we have coffee or food or anything like that, that she's a beagle, so she can really smell those things, and she wants to see what we've been eating or drinking. I don't know if that's true or not, but I liked it a lot better when I thought she was just giving loves. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to review these over on Amazon because, I don't know, I'm not very happy with the reviews that they've got. I don't think they're giving them a fair shake. Um, one person had said that they you might as well just get Sharpies. And I was like, well, first of all, you're not going to get 101 Sharpies for um, 20 to $25 either. So that's number one. And number two... You are getting, um, you are getting uh, a light. You're getting a lot more um, markers. Number one, you're also getting two different ends: a chisel and a nib. And this nib is smaller than like a fine sharpie but bigger than an ultra fine. So I don't even know how they compare to Sharpies in my opinion. I'm not sure how that came up. And one person said they were kind of scratchy. Well, you guys can hear this on this paper and this is Amazon paper. So I don't hear any more of that little ch -ch -ch sound from these than I hear from my other budget friendly markers or from, um, Sharpies or Bix or anything like that. So I don't know. I don't know where that came from. That was kind of a a real left field comment in my opinion. So I'd like to go over there and do that and get that. And then somebody said they wish they would have just gotten a hoo hoo. And I was like, well, maybe if you want a fatter marker, I guess they weren't expecting the slimmer one. I was like, maybe, but. You know, I like a hoo hoo also, but every art supply has its place. And um, their reasoning was, I guess, because of the size or whatever. But what I was thinking with that too was, well, I get it if you're talking about this bigger markers, but why are you hating on these? Because you would, you know, it wasn't exactly what you thought it was. So I don't know. I don't know. And of course, I also had the thought you're not going to get a hundred set of Ohuhus for 20 to $25 either. So that was my opinion. And I just think that they need to be reviewed over on Amazon um, and give them a little bit of a fair shake because I'm not having any problems. Uh, I did know that they were the slim markers. That's what I was looking for when I got them. So I did know. So that wasn't a surprise to me. And uh, for what they are, I think they're they're really great. I think the colors are pretty nice. You definitely get more colors in here than you would get in Sharpies. I think Sharpie only comes in 36 colors. And if I'm not mistaken, I think those 36 cost close to what this whole 101 pack costs. So, And the price on these may go up. You know, Amazon sellers and things like that tend to do that if a product actually takes off and starts selling well 
they'll jack the price up. So I wouldn't be surprised to see these go up into the 30s in the future. So I would say if you're interested in something like this um, and they're still on sale, especially, or if they're still in the 20s, and especially if they've still got that 25% coupon, I would go ahead and get them. Maybe even pick up a couple packs if you can, just in case the price goes up. Those are just my thoughts. Sorry if you can hear the little from the dog's nails on the floor. I have laminate flooring in the bedroom here. So when they're up walking around, you can hear those little nails against the laminate flooring. It's pretty early. We've already, I've already let them out for the first time this morning, but when they first wake up, they're kind of active you know, because they've been in bed all night. So I may end up having to get up and let them back outside. Sometimes they'll come back in and just curl up and find a place to lay for a few more hours or whatever, but maybe not this morning. We'll see. So I got the yellows done. Now this box needs to use a pink, a pink, a Pink, a pink, a pink. Um, dun, 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 dun. Apparently, it wants. I'm trying to find the right pink to use because it's going to have me use another pink also. So. It's like pink, I like pink, so I want to see which pinks. I want to use maybe this one, maybe this one. Yeah, I think that's my problem. Okay, so four is the pink. Let's go ahead and do I want to get them to, you know, look as good as they can, the different colors together. So I do kind of, once I have started, um, when it gives me a color, I don't just look specifically for the color that I'm looking for. I also kind of look around on the page at the colors I've already laid down and try to pick a shade of the color they're asking for. That's going to at least complement what's going on. And some colors that get put together just kind of makes me wonder sometimes on some of these CBN books. So, I don't know. So, what have you guys been up to? Tell me all about it. What's going on in your neck of the woods? Oh, I missed a little bit of hair right there. I'll get it. I just hope I can remember which brown I used because I forgot to leave it laying out in case I forgot a number. So what are you guys coloring? If you're coloring, are you working in? Tell me all about it. What are you coloring with in the books that you're working on? Or PDFs. The brand new uh, Christmas books are rolling out, of course. And I've already got so many Christmas books. I absolutely adore Christmas. So this is going to be hard for me to stay away from... All these 
beautiful new bugs that are coming out. Oh, that don't, that is, I don't think that's the right brown. Oh no, did I lose the brown? I think I may have, I may end up with a really weird little strand of hair. Oh, that may be right after it lightens up. That's what I'm going to use. Oh, well. I hope it's close enough. Oh, that may be the same one. It looked a little darker. So, yeah, I really like it. And there's, like, another Christmas color by number book that I'm interested in. I don't know. It's a Christmas fantasy. And that might actually be kind of fun to color even when it's not. Christmas. I mean, it's got dragons and all kinds of stuff like that in it. So I don't know. I may still purchase that book yet. It does have some Christmas themed kind of things in it, but it does have other stuff. So we'll see. I like the fantasy kind of stuff. So I don't know. It's going to be, it is going to be really hard to refrain because I'm sure Deborah Muller is going to come out with a Christmas book um, if she has not already. And I'm going to want it. And I don't know if Tabby B is going to do a Christmas book or not. But if she does, I'm sure I want that. I don't know. You know, the artists that I follow on a regular basis, I'm sure they'll have Christmas books and I'll want them. So the Christmas collection continues to grow. <laughs> oh, goodness. So any Christmas books that you guys have, do you store them? with all your other coloring books, or do you store them somewhere separate from the other coloring books, or maybe on a different shelf, or what have you? Eventually, I'm probably gonna just have to find somewhere different to store my Christmas books, and just pull them out at times that I want to color in them, because it's getting a little, I'm starting to kind of run out of room. So. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, six is supposed to be light blues, and there are a lot of sixes. Oh, goodness. I don't know how much of this will actually be able to get done, like, on camera. But I'm sure I can speed color the rest of it for you guys if um, we have to stop because this is a lot of little sixes. And I definitely know I'm not going to get the outline done on camera. I don't even know that I'll do a speed color of the actual outline because that's pretty tedious. My hand starts hurting a lot and I have to stop. But there'll be, of course, it'll be, if I don't, it'll be in my finished pages at the end of the month. You guys can see that. And I've been putting like some little sneak peeks for my Instagram peoples, people that follow me on Instagram. Um, if I color something, I will um, sometimes, if for whatever reason I think it's different or unique or something like that, I'll just go ahead and throw it up on Instagram. And um, so. When I get this one done, since CBN is pretty new to me, I probably will go ahead and put the finished one over on Instagram. So if, um, like I said, I probably won't do, you know, these outlines on camera at all. I'll speed color the rest of the CBN probably if we stop. But you can go over and follow me on Instagram and um, see this. The, my Instagram handle is down in the description below, so you guys can find that if you're interested in following me on Instagram. Oh, 
I'm trying to think what color I'm going to use for the outline for this one. Maybe gold. When I did my unicorn, I did it in pink. All the outline work, and it did come out really nice. I was finally able to find those um, eight packs of glitter um, glitter gel pen at Dollar Tree. I found them at a Dollar Tree yesterday. So I bought a few packs of those. I brought them home and tested them. And I do like them. So I asked Gary, because he's down in that area, before he comes home, can he go buy that Dollar Tree? And buy whatever I think they have maybe six packs left on the shelf. Oh, I'm out of frame, sorry. And I asked him if he would go ahead and buy those other six packs for me. And he said he would, so I'm glad for that because um for eight for a dollar I'm not so worried about killing a gel pen by doing like the lines on the CBNs and things like that. So it's a lot easier to swallow when you only paid a dollar for eight if you use a lot of a gel pen to do the background. I really wish they were like, I wish they had like a pack of eight in just goals or something like that. That would be really nice. Or a pack of eight in just pink, you know, for a dollar. <laughs> I really wish because then, you know, if you're doing a background and you run out of a color or you run, your marker goes dead, you can um, just grab another pen. And that's kind of hard to do when, um, you know, if, if there's, if you've only got one pack of eight and one of the pen size, then you're left with having to pick another color. So I don't know. But I had checked at a local Dollar Tree and they didn't have any. And if you guys aren't familiar with Dollar Tree, everything in the store is dollar. So, um, I checked at a couple that's a lot more local to me here, and they did not have them there. So, and when I went down yesterday um, to that area, it's a bigger Dollar Tree. It's a lot, lot larger. So, I thought, well, let me go check in there. And they did have them, and I was so excited. I hope I can remember what color I did her skin, because... Oh, no, I got it. I, there for a second, I thought that wasn't colored, that two there, but it is. So, I'll probably be randomly stopping in Dollar Trees for, um, to try to keep those gel pens stocked up. As long as I'm doing these kind of things, because they would work really well for that. And it doesn't make me cry to kill a gel pen. You know, if you've seen my color and chat to kill a gel pen, where I did the Sun Life drawing, one color animal stencil, um, that kind of broke my heart a little bit. I really hadn't used it much, but that was actually a pen with a sparkle pop. And I did really want to see how nice the sparkle would be with a sparkle pop. So it was kind of more of a test, but I definitely cannot afford to buy sparkle pops and use a whole gel pen on one picture with those. No, no, no. Those are too expensive for that. And even the sets I buy um, are, in my opinion, a little too expensive to be doing that with. And maybe, I don't know, I'm going to have to check the price out on those. If you get like 100 set of gel pens, anybody good with math, you can go ahead and give me the answer. But I'm going to figure it out later. I can't color and do math. So, if you bought 100 gel pens... How many times will 8 go into 100? And that would be, I don't know. There's a way to figure it out. How much are those gel pens? Oh, well, I mean, you need 8. You need to find out how much the gel pens cost a piece, I guess. But I guess that depends on the price of the gel pens. So, yeah. See, I can't think math thoughts. And concentrate on this. It must be the other side of your brain. I don't know. I don't know what side of my brain does handles coloring and which side of my brain handles math. But I would 
think that it must be opposite sides because just sitting here thinking about it, it's not easy. It's really a struggle to think about both at the same time. So I don't know. I'm not really great at math anyway. I can do math. I'm just not super great at it. I'm not that type of person that can just do it in their head. Gary is. You can give Gary a number or some numbers or whatever, and he can just look at it. And within just a second, he can tell you what that is and what's going on with that. I'm really hard with head math. I don't know. I'm really hard. I guess I should say I'm not very good at it. Apparently, I can't speak proper and do a color in chat. Of course, I'm from the South. Most of you guys would say that I don't speak proper anyway, so it's okay. <clears throat> well, I fell asleep last night. My head was so stopped up. I couldn't breathe out of my nose. and I wasn't having any pro I wasn't really having any problems with it until I actually laid down to go to bed. And so I had to try to, to breathe out of my mouth to go to sleep. And I'm not a mouth breather. I don't. It feels weird for me. I can, but, you know, it dries my throat out. And then I wake up and I have a super bad sore throat. I don't like doing that. So it's kind of tough getting to sleep last night. I didn't really fall asleep until my nose unstopped some. Because, you know, I've read, and I never knew this, but I found out a while back that that stuffiness in your nose is actually like inflammation and not like stuff, gunk, whatever. I always assumed it was gunk up in there. So the more you go, the stuffier it gets. And that's because it irritates that inflammation. And so um, I try my best now that I know that never to do that. You know, that sucking motion, trying to clear them because it's not going to clear it anyway. And it's just making things worse. So, yeah, I try real hard not to do that anymore. And um so I just kind of lay there and breathe out of my mouth. And I try to even breathe kind of slowly or whatever. And after a while, the inflammation does seem to go down. And I'm able to breathe again. And like most of the time, though, I can't really go to sleep until that inflammation goes down some. Because it's weird. I just don't like going to sleep with my mouth open. So, yeah. I laid in bed for a while last night. I was able to relax some, even though I wasn't asleep. And just give that inflammation some time to go down. I think, <clears throat> I think there's, excuse me, I think there's a medication that I'm on. <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> that um, can cause stuffy nose, I think. Again, I think it's the Requip. You know, Requip has some really weird side effects. And one of those is stuffy nose. And most of the time, it doesn't really bother me. It did when I first started taking it, but not so much anymore. And um, so now it's just occasionally that that happens. And my nose stops up real big or real bad. It gets inflamed. Yeah, I do really want to do, I want to get one of the black, at least one of the black background books because I want to see, because I, there's no way I could leave all these lines white. First of all, it would mess with my head. And second of all, you know, you're always going to have a little bit of bleed through over that. And... I mean, unless you're, like, super duper careful. And um, so, <clears throat> for me, I've got to do that. And I'm sorry that I have to clear my throat so much today. I'm not sure what's going on with that. 
And that may be a reason to stop this color and chat here in a little while because I'm not going to sit here and constantly clear my throat. <laughs> oh, we'll see. it's hard for me to talk when it gets like this i think i've got drainage back there again this morning so it starts to kind of build up and i have to kind of clear my throat a little and i can feel that little weird knot in the back of my throat when i talk and it feels really weird Oh, this is a lot of sixes. A lot of sixes. I told you guys. Maybe I shouldn't have followed the number this time. I should have went and found some other different color that didn't have as much. It's probably pretty boring for you guys to just sit and watch me lay down blue. Looks like the dogs finally tucked themselves back in for a little while. They'll be up and raring to go again soon. I got, I felt really silly. When I was at the store yesterday, I bought, um, are you guys familiar with Fur Real Pets? They're made by Hasbro. Well, I was at this discount store and they had some of the ones that are a parrot and they're really cute. And I kept, um, as I would walk anywhere close, it would activate and it would talk to me. And a couple times I thought, oh, you're cute. And boy, you drive my dogs crazy. And then I was busy in the store looking at things and I forgot about it. And then I walked back by and it piped up and it was like, hi, did you miss me? And I was like, oh, yeah, so much that I want to put you in my cart now and take you home to my dogs. So I didn't give it to the dogs to like play with, but I brought it home and played with the dogs a little bit with it. And I was kind of disappointed because I expected them to be a little more um, interested in what was going on with that thing than they were because its little plume on its head actually moves back and forth. Its mouth moves, its wings move um, and stuff. So I, I expected them to be a little more into that than they were, but it's okay. It's not a big deal. Um, I do like really unique little pretty stuffed animal type things so I've got it just up on display in my room now and um, I'll play with it from time to time I'll walk by and activate it and let it talk for a little bit because I think it really is cute it was a lot of fun playing with it a little yesterday and it'll say things like I love you and like I said did you miss me and all kinds of other things it like sings and dances so it's definitely neat it's beautiful bright colors and i like it a lot so. and it was at a discount store so you know i think those things are regularly like 99 dollars like at walmart and stuff so they are really super nice so yeah I bought toys at a toy, well, not a toy store, but I bought a toy for me. It reminds me of the old Toys R Us jingle about, I don't want to grow up, but I'm a Toys R Us kid. <laughs> yeah, I used to love that little jingle. Bikes to game, what is it, bikes and something to video games it's the biggest toy store there is i don't want to grow up could baby if i did i couldn't be a toys r us kid so yeah fun fun 
<clears throat> Sorry. Take a sip of my coffee, see if that helps a little bit. Coffee seems a little bitter this morning. I don't understand why. Made it the same way I always do. And I made it in a Keurig, so it was just a coffee pot. It's not like I got too much grounds. So I don't know what's up with that. But it does taste a little stronger, a little more bitter than I normally get. I think we're almost finished with these sixes. I hope so. Riley's stirring up over there. He barks so much now, and it drives me so crazy. Okay, I don't know, but it looks like all the sixes are done. All these sevens are baby blues. Okay, so I think, is that my lightest? I think this is going to be my lightest blue. Okay, so let's move up here and get these sevens. There's not as many sevens as there were. Sixes, thank goodness. That was a lot of sixes. It's kind of chilly a little bit this morning, but we're supposed to go back up to like 74 today. So there was my answer where I told you guys I didn't know if we were going to have another big warm snap or not. Apparently, yes. Uh, I think it's supposed to be like 74, 75, 76 in different areas around me. Today, ugh, it's miserable. And that's why I have not turned my heat on. Because I was afraid this would happen, and it is so hard to cool this room because it's an old enclosed garage, and um, the walls, of course, aren't insulated, and they're outside walls, so it can get, it can heat up in here really fast when it's warm outside, and it takes a very long time to cool the room back off. So while we've been having these little cold snaps, I've just been putting on more clothes, wearing jackets, things like that. But I'm really glad I have now been doing it that way because, like I said, it's going up to this, like between 74 and 76 for today. And that's just, I would be burning up in this room this afternoon if that were, if I had have turned the heat on. So this is the time of year that I generally just freeze until it makes sense to turn it on. When I know for, you know, when I know that it looks like we're going to stay um, in the cooler temps. I know a lot of people will kind of try to save money by not turning the heat on until they really, really super need it. And I mean, that's, that's nice. And I guess, you know, I guess that's a reason, but it's my main reason is comfortability because if it goes, well, you know, if it gets really warm again, I can't cool this stinking room off. It takes hours for this room to cool down and you're just like burning up until it does. So, yep, that's where I'm at with that. Now, if it, like, turns off super duper cold, then, yeah, I'll turn it on, turn the heat on for a while, because I'm not going to sit in here and, like, literally, like, teeth chatter cold. But if it's cold, then I can just put on, like, a pair of sweatpants and some fuzzy socks and a long sleeve shirt and maybe a sweater or something. I don't see any reason. And then at night, oh, that's 17, not 7. Oh, my goodness. 
All right, I can go back over that. That's fine. Thank goodness it was a really light green or a little really light blue. A really light green. Oh my gosh. Thank God. Thank. Okay. That's kind of another reason I was never sure if I was going to be able to do color and chats and CBNs at the same time. Okay, eight is red. So let me see. Am I going to have any other reds or anything? Because, you know, you'll get these different reds that they asked you for. And I want to make sure I'm getting the right ones. Like you'll have light red or dark red or something. I don't know. Okay, so eight is red. Let me find my eight. Oh, wow. There's a little eight right here in the center of this flower. And in the center here. And I do believe that's all the red. So that was almost not even worth it, huh? Those two little ones there. Okay. So there's the reds. It's number five if I need it again. Um, light orange light what is light orange i don't know um, let me see do i have a dark orange <laughs> because if dark orange isn't on here i'm just going to use this one. Oh, there is an orange mm, i should be okay i'm going to use this one let's see so nines oh, they go right here not a real light orange with this. I'll find another orange. Oh, you guys can't see. I'm so sorry. So if you guys do CBN books, or even if you don't and you have an opinion, let me know. But um, what do you think about the color combinations that they put in some of these pictures? Because you know me, I generally kind of went with a limited color palette. When I color, I I am trying to branch out more now. But in the past, I've used very like limited palettes. So I'm just kind of curious um, what you guys think of that. Because, oh goodness, check this out. Army green, green, light green, neon green, and dark green, and medium green. This is ridiculous. All these greens. That's kind of ridiculous. All right, so I'm going to call this army green. But I was curious what you thought of the, um, like the different colors that they put in together. You know, this is 10, right? Yep. 10. I'm going to say this is army green for today kind of like an olive green so I don't know I'm gonna struggle here in just a minute to find greens I bet that's a lot of greens I knew I was getting really lucky that there wasn't like all these different reds and all that so and that's why because I was about to encounter a bunch of crazy greens Yeah, sometimes I question what I see in color by numbers as color palettes that are chosen. And I guess they really want to put different colors in there, I guess, to make it more fun or <clears throat> what have you. But sometimes I see them and I think, I don't know about all those colors together. And that could be because I have always been so accustomed to coloring with a limited palette, maybe. So I didn't know if that was just me and my desire for like limited palettes or if um, other people kind of felt like sometimes colors don't really work well together that they see in CBN books. Just curious.
Uh, we're at almost an hour, so we're going to finish here. I'm going to do a, a speed color and finish this up. So hang in tight so you'll get to see the image finished. Um, I know several of you really requested that if I have to stop a video while I'm making it. So please do a speed color that you really want to see the ending. So anytime I can do that, that is what I'm going to do. Um, you know, there are some times when I'm just tired or I have something I need to get done and I can't necessarily do it right then. I'll, you know, on those times, I'll try to put it off to the side and come back to it and finish it um, and then do the video where it's a speed color, but I'll do the best I can. But anyway, um, thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I appreciate it. If you guys will give me a big thumbs up on the video. I would appreciate it. It helps so much. And um, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and the bell has been rang if you want to be notified when I upload new videos. And I'll leave a link down in the description to these Teo Tree markers as well as the fairies book here. I really do like these markers a lot. I'm glad I was I'm glad I happened upon them. I really am. And if you happen to look down in the description and I forgot to link the markers, if you'll just click on that Amazon link, head over there, type in Tao Tree Marker, it'll pop up for you and um, it'll still help me out. If you go through my Amazon link to shop um, it still credits to me anything that you purchase while you're while you're in that link. So that still helps out a lot. All right, so I am going to stop right here and we'll go into the speed color to finish this up since we're right at the hour mark. So again, thanks guys so much. For hanging out with me today and being in my color and chat leave me a comment i love 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 to hear from you guys and um, i will see you guys in the next video until next time peace love and happy coloring bye guys